Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are diving into visual note taking apps for people who like to capture text. So I did a visual note taking app video earlier this week but that was about capturing capturing mostly images and files. This is more for capturing text so if you like to see your text notes visually one of these apps might be great for you. I included this one in the last video as well. This is a fine and the way it works is that it allows you to uh, take notes uh, and you can take them either in the page or in a whiteboard view. We have basic things like databases here as well and they won't show up right now because the app is a little buggy but uh, we have databases inside of here uh, as well. The app is really uh, really uh, in its early stages so it will take some time before it uh, is at the level of things like for example Notion or Craft or all of the note-taking apps you know and love uh, but this is one of the coolest uh, note-taking apps I've seen one of the coolest ideas for a note-taking app because the way this works is that uh, once I write something in here uh, so let's just add something uh, mm -hmm. just to show you uh, it will be added right here as well, which is something uh, that I like a lot. And we can add new notes here again. So let's add a new text note. So you could use the whiteboard inside of here. Uh, and once you are happy with how the whiteboard looks, or maybe you just want to do your outlining in a whiteboard, then you can jump back into your page and see everything in a page layout. And the pricing on this is quite good as well. So a fine will cost you, uh, will cost you uh, 675 per month uh, for the pro plan. Uh, and uh, it has a great free plan as well. I mean, you could get away with the free plan here. The major differences is the cloud storage, uh, maximum maximum file size, uh, up to 10 members per workspace. Here you get only up to three. Add comments on docs and, and edgeless community support, real-time syncing collaborate and collaboration for more people. So that's the major difference. They also have AI, which you can add for $8.9 each month. This is billed annually. Uh, and they have a self-hosting pricing coming soon. This is also billed annually. So if you bill it monthly, this will be eight dollars each month still you can get away with the free plan it is really good and you actually don't need anything else uh, i haven't at least needed anything else when i tried the app uh, still no mobile app so early days uh, but a great choice if you like both the page structure but you also want to see thing see things visually uh, in your note-taking app as whiteboards. The next app I have for you is actually one called Napkin Notes and this is a really fun one because this is both a good note-taking app but it is also a great AI application uh, and we do love AI applications on this channel. Uh, the way this works is that it wants to use AI to actually help you um, to help you connect different things. So if I just press uh, one of my notes, you can see that uh, notes that might be connected to this will appear. And as you might imagine, this gets a lot better once uh, you have a bunch of notes. It isn't too good with uh, these notes I have inside of here because I simply do not have enough notes but this wants to add serendipity into your note-taking app and help you find connections you would otherwise miss 
there is one thing you should know and that is the fact that uh, it won't allow you to take longer notes so it has a hard limit on how long a note can actually be uh, so uh, that is something you should keep in mind and it also allows for some um, some organization if that's what you want to do but mostly it uh, uses AI to tag things for you and that's the main selling point. They are uh, quite new to the market so there are still a lot of improvements that needs to be done uh, and as you can see it is still in early access but it works a little uh, differently now than when I reviewed it the last time and I will do a longer video on that later but basically they are going more towards a mobile application and um, trying to be like a knowledge base in your pocket using AI to connect things and also allowing you a flow where you can see through your notes uh, sort of like serendipity features many other note-taking apps offer uh, this gives you a daily flow where you can uh, go through your notes uh, there is no information about the pricing on the website but you can start your free trial and secure a lifelong discount of 50 percent but i am not sure what the actual pricing on this is but um basically the way this app works is that it uses ai to help you connect different notes and help you to find uh, uh find relations in your notes you would otherwise miss so the last two applications are quite similar to each other we first have squintle which evolves around boards uh, and boards within boards where you can connect things together so the this app and the next one is probably uh, the two apps that are more like your typical note-taking apps where you have backlinks you can see all of your backlinks you can see where this uh, card appears and it evolves around cards on top of these whiteboards as you can see right here so it shows you your tags it shows you where things appear uh, and uh, you can use it for things like tasks as well because it has a task management feature right here where you can actually add different tasks but it isn't uh, like many other note-taking apps it isn't the best for just task management um, uh, and as I said, it is actually quite simple and you can customize this a lot so you can build out your home page like I have done here and jump into different things from your home page. You can build out many different boards and uh, you can also have these cards right here. I won't be able to show you everything, but uh, one thing you should know is that uh, it has great search. So let me just try and search something uh, and I can open this card right here. Uh, so it has really good search. That is one thing I really like about this application. So another cool thing about the search is that you can actually search for specific things within uh, within the board you are in right now. So no need to um, no need to manually try to find whatever you're looking for. It allows you to actually search within the boards as well. You can see the info here as well, and you can unstar the board, share or publish it, or copy link to clipboard. So. Uh, one of the newer type of visual note-taking apps there are actually two of them and I'm going to show you the other one quite soon but let's take a look at the pricing for Squintle so Squintle right now will set you back this is in Norwegian kroners but it is around 7 USD each month uh, for the monthly plan billed annually uh, or it will cost you uh, 350 around 350 USD for the lifetime supporter plan so that's the app called uh, Squintle. We have another application that is quite similar and this one is called Heptabase and Heptabase works uh, a lot like Squintle with boards within boards 
and a card library where you can actually add cards into your board. So let's just try and jump into my resources board. Uh, and in here you can see through all of your different notes. Let me just go ahead and close this. That wasn't on purpose. Uh, you can zoom in and out to see all of your notes. So this has a lot of notes in it and it isn't looking the best visually, but as you might have figured out, uh, you can actually decide how you want to set up your boards. I've decided to do it a little bit unstructured. That is just something I tried out uh, for a while, but you can also store boards within boards here as well. You have a journal page, which is basically a daily page. You have task management ability here as well. Uh, and you also have tags. And what's fun about tags inside of here is that you can group those tags. That is the first thing. So you can group different tags together like I've done here. But uh, even better, uh, these tags actually turn into databases. So if you both like to see things visually in a map, but you want a more structured way to see all of your different notes as well, you can actually uh, use this app to get the best of both worlds. Uh, it is developing quite fast and I feel like they are always doing the right thing when it comes to their development, something a lot of other applications might be struggling with a little bit more, but I feel like every time I see something new coming out from them, um, it is uh, it is exactly the thing they should be focusing on. One other cool thing is that you can find your card library right here and you can actually uh, drag your card library into uh, you can drag cards from your card library into here. They have a web clipper and even a mobile app, something a lot of these new applications do not have. So this app has gotten a, a lot further than many of its competitors and the pricing also reflects that it will cost you $11.99 for the monthly plan or $8.99 per month for the yearly plan. You get a one week free trial, but it has things like PDF uh, annotations, web app, mobile app, real time syncing with local first support. And uh, it is one of the better visual note taking apps. I would say that this is probably the one that is furthest along in its development. As usual, thank you so, so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.